Hey guys, this is your head graphic designer, Core GFX Productions for Fizen GFX. And this video it's gonna be a tutorial on how to use Pathfinder and Adobe Illustrator and the reason why Pathfinder is really important actually. Alright, so just a hypothetical hypothetical situation. So you have to make a logo for a client that would involve a square and a circle and you have to take the circle and cut it out of a square well typically you know someone would go to Photoshop and do that with no problem but the problem is is that with a logo it has to be vectorized meaning that you can enlarge it to any size and it won't become pixelated if you do that with rastered images then it's gonna lose quality the larger you make it so without delay let's get right into it alright so just gonna shift alt and create ourselves nice big black square right there and I'm not gonna go you know full into Pathfinder but I'm just gonna show you the basics of it here I'm gonna create ourselves an ellipse and just switch that around oh, let me Take that and take the stroke off of it. Okay. Make that white. No, not you. Alright. Just about. There we are. Uh, let's see if I can find the center of this thing. There it is. Click, shift, and then alt. Alright, so there we are. That's looking alright as for, you know, the use of the tutorial anyway. Now, what we have to do is we have to subtract this circle from the square right here. Because if we don't, right now it looks fine, but if we take it into like a transparent background, we're still going to have a white circle in this black square right here. So, what we want to do is we want to select both of the objects. And I already have Pathfinder open. If it's not open, then you can just go to Window, and Pathfinder will be right there. So we select those two, and then we look down here, and we are going to do a minus front. Now you could do divide, and you know just get rid of it manually after you divide it, but we'll just do a minus front. And now, right now, it doesn't look changed, but if we click on it, it's actually been changed. Like, there is no, nothing right in here. It's just a black s square with, like, the circle taken out of it. So, which means if we wanted, we could do more with that. Like, just add some text or something, like... This circle square. Is that how you spell square? Possibly. I'm a graphic designer, not an English teacher. Of type as always when you're working with Illustrator you want to create outlines with it which will make it editable if you wanted it and if I was to save this out we'll get there eventually one oh, Mississippi okay wow I didn't even get to five. Oh man bummer all right so uh, just Square. Wow, square is spelled very weird. If I spelled that right. All right, and this is our preview right here. So as you can see in our preview, we have our custom shape that we made with the square with the circle cut out of it, and then our text right in the middle of it. And then you can choose what resolution you want and all that other good jazz. And we'll just hit cancel for now. 
and I would say like to say thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like it, just hit the like button, comment, subscribe, because there's gonna be more tutorials coming out. And uh, yeah, everything of that nature. So I shall see you guys next tutorial. Take care.